I'm making my way into the single US folder and I have a little uh, folder here, Forest Hunt. There are a couple of missions here which I was just playing around with but heck I'd like to create a bit of a story, add some more mission missions later and turn this into a campaign. So the question is how do you do it? Well we'll look at look at that now. Let's go back up to the campaign folder and I'm going to make a copy of our working public campaign Flat Spin Man's Excellent Africa campaign. Control C to copy that will pop up, go down to the US folder, go Control V to paste it and that's our first step completed. So the next step now is to change the name of this folder and let's go to rename and I'll make this back to the bulge as in the pun back to the wall back to the bulge and that's step two done or is it? Whoops! looks like we've got some spaces in there so let's go and rename this again and we'd better put either hyphens or underscores I'll use underscores here back to the bulge no spaces no special characters other than hyphens and underscores so let's go into the campaign folder and all the normal parts of the campaign are there we know it's already a working campaign we're going to shoot down to this file here the info.properties let's open that and what we have here is the actual name of the campaign that shows up in the, uh, in the campaign list and the description of the campaign so the first thing I'm just going to type in here back to the bulge and the description here will uh, uh, the thing to watch out for here is these slash n these are the new lines so you, c you can't just go and use your enter key to make uh, paragraphs you need to use the slash n and so what we'll do, I'm just going to put one at the very beginning there to make sure we get that right, backslash n and the rest of this I will delete okay so there's the description you were all ready for a quiet winter when reports came through of a surprise German push in the nearby Ardennes. You're up against the nastiest winter in your life and some pretty unfriendly AA. Keep your cool, do your duty and come back alive. Your mother misses you, you know. A two mission campaign flying the P-47. Typical mission length 20 minutes, mainly ground attack. So it looks like we're done here. Or are we? Have you spotted the mistakes? The thing to be careful here is be care careful of here is this uh, backslash n. Remember, it is backslash. Whoops! Looks like here we've got forward slash. So let's change that now. All right, backslash n. Backslash n is what you need for a par paragraph. Oh, whoops! So we're gonna do it again. Uh, backslash n is the way to go. There we go. Now uh, I've just put a, I've put one up up there as well, just a single one to give a, a blank line at the top, which just gives a, a little extra space. That's all we need to do. I'm going to hit File Save and close this. The next step is to go into the campaign.ini, which is right up here. And uh, lots of there's lots of confusing stuff up here, but actually it's really simple. I purposely chose a German campaign here so we can have a look at what needs changing. So in this top line we've got the class il2.game.campaign.campaignblue. You don't need to remember any of that stuff, just remember this is either blue or red. Red is for the Allies, blue is for the Germans. And the second class, uh, second line here, the awards class, uh, il2.game.campaign.awards.defighter. You don't need to remember any of that, just remember this is either DE or RU. RU for any allied side, DE for any Axis side, including for example the Japanese, right? So uh, that's that done. The next step is to put our mission list in here. There are some extra little lines here. These are for the campaign interlude tracks, like the storytelling tracks, but that, that's a topic for another tutorial, which is already on site if you want to check it out. I'm going to delete these files here 
but I'll leave one just to remind us that we need to have this dot miss there. So the name of this campaign is Back to the Bulge. I'm going to shorten that to BB. And the first mission, I'll put hyphen 01. You can use hyphens or underscores. A common way is, well, either one, but usually an abbreviation like BB hyphen 02.miss. The next step is to get the actual missions in here. So what, what I'm going to do is just delete all of these missions and oops, just need to be careful when we come down here because this info.properties file we obviously do not want to delete and just go shift oops, missed that shift click and delete ok, I'm going to buzz back to single uh, US forest hunt get those all, all of these files here and then go back to US and back to the bulge and we're going to put the files right in here right so control paste control V for paste and there they go. Except I remember we when in the campaign the I and I we called these BB01, BB02. So we'd better make sure these are exactly the same. I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, take a look at what I've done and see if you think it's okay. Three, two, one. I hope you've picked up the mistake. Remember we like in the campaign the I and I it's BB hyphen O one and here we've got P bb underscore let's get rid of that and make that a hyphen and the same down here it's really easy to make these little mistakes so uh, that's why I'm trying to highlight these to get them stuck in your mind uh, we've got these alright bb hyphen o1.properties and o2.properties okay in theory we are good to go let's go into Sturmy and check out the results here's our moment of truth pilot career new US Army Air Force select a suitable rank and dun 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 there we go back to the bulge there's our description and there's our first mission it's all looking pretty good so that's all there is to it, not too difficult after all, and let's get out of there. If you have any problems, please check out the notes on the site. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is Flying Nutcase wishing you a very nice day.